guys, you're watching Kitty Crafts. I am back with another miscellaneous Monday video. Today we will be doing a closet makeover for my closet back here. I didn't really have a budget for this closet, but in total it was approximately $300 with a lot of the pieces being 15% off because I got them during a sale. I don't think that's too bad since I got to completely customize it myself and do it the way I wanted it to turn out. If you have a small closet like mine and there's not a lot of space, I think this El Varley system is pretty good and it uses up the vertical space very well, especially if you add the shelves in that can hold so many different items. Hope you like it and let's begin. Hey guys, so this is my closet. You may have seen this Legend of Zelda poster in a lot of my intros and really this is on a door that goes into my closet. I just wanted to show you a before and after of my closet. So obviously this is the mess that it is currently. I always feel like I need to keep the boxes of some of the things I buy. I know my mom always does this, so maybe I get it from her. And then over here are my hoodies and sweaters. I usually keep those in the closet and then there are some extra clothes that aren't even mine and I need to get rid of those. So I have another wardrobe that I usually keep my other clothes, but now I'll have some more space in here. And then down here, a bunch of useless stuff that has been hiding in here. A mysterious suitcase could contain a body, I'm not sure. I really do need to figure out where to relocate these items. I just found the piece of bread that was used in my grade 11 biology project to see the rate of growth of mold on bread. I picked a hamburger bun and it never grew mold. Oops. It's getting darker now, but this is what the closet looks like. All emptied out. I didn't realize how much room there actually is in here with all the mess gone. But now I just need to remove this metal rod and then take out these wooden pieces so that the new El Varley closet can fit inside. After that, I got some pink spackle to fill up the holes in the walls, scraped it flat, sanded it, and then added a fresh new coat of paint on top. Now cue the IKEA montage, not sponsored. I got three side frame units, eight short shelves, two long shelves, two clothes rails, one long cross brace, one short cross brace, and a partridge in a pear tree. I'll leave the specs in the description if you're interested in making something similar. Over here, I'm assembling the side frame units. It's pretty straightforward. You just have to connect the two posts together and get these little plastic pieces that will click right into the holes. After filling all the holes, it's time to place the metal bars, which you'll need to be careful of. Since the bar with more holes in it is designed specifically to hold the clothes rails, so you need to place them in certain spots wherever you want your clothes rails to be, whereas the one on the bottom can go in any other spot. 
I place the clothes rail bars at the first and sixth position. And then I filled up the rest with the regular bars. There are also some little leg screws that I screwed all the way in. And these two pieces are used when it secures to the wall. All right, now I have three of these side units and I'm gonna bring these up to my room into my closet to assemble together and also put in the cross braces that will go through these holes and then put on the shelves and the clothes rails. I got the 216 by 36 centimeter side units so these ones fit perfectly into my closet and they do have another one that's a bit wider but that's too much of a tight fit for my closet. The cross braces hold the side units together and I had to squeeze in from the back to screw these in. The cross braces are connected and now I'm going to put two of the shelves on the very top of these units and then that will be the correct size so that I can drill a hole and fix this to the wall. Oh, but before I put up the long shelf, I need to put up the clothes rail. It goes like this. The top shelves give me an idea of where the side units should be and I mark down where I will put the anchors. Then I'm putting this piece in front of the anchor and then putting in a large screw so that it is secured. Now this isn't going anywhere and I can finally secure the shelves onto the side units. Also, this cap will cover up where the screws went in. To secure this shelf onto the side unit, these two things will go underneath in this little hole. This goes in first and this one. And now this thing isn't going anywhere. I did the same with the smaller shelves and although I could have made the compartments different sizes, I just wanted them all to be the same except for the very last one on the bottom. Yay! Guys, this is my El Varley closet completely assembled and fixed to the wall. I like it a lot better than my previous closet, especially since there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight compartments where I can put other things besides my clothes. I could put like my hats and I don't know, just anything that can fit inside here. I'll fill all of this up with all my hoodies and stuff and I'll show you guys the end result. So this is my closet all filled up with my clothes and other things that I put in the shelves. Compared to my previous closet, I like this one a lot more because everything has a place and it's much more organized. There aren't that many things scattered across the floor and I just like how there are two clothes racks to put all of my hoodies and my sweatshirts. Taking a look at the shelves up here, I put some of my pro bead buckets up here first before I move those into my future craft room. I have a lot of plushies, so I kept some of those in here instead of on my bed. Then I have some cosmetic stuff like face masks and moisturizers, and then my Pokemon hats. I got this handy metal basket that holds some rolled up clothes that I can grab anytime I want. Down here are some socks all organized and pants in another one of these baskets. This space down here, I kind of just keep anything that I don't have anywhere else to put. And then the first rack here holds some of my dress shirts and my sweaters. I love that there's a shelf here as well to keep other things. Some of these I will put in my craft room eventually, but for now I'll keep it in here. And then up here on my top shelf are all of my hoodies. I don't really wear anything else other than hoodies. I'm just a hoodie kind of person. And then up there is some storage space for some boxes that I still want to keep. And of course, since my door already had these hooks, I keep some of my bags on here 
and then that's it that is my closet considering my closet is not one of those big walk-in closets i am very happy with the way that this system uses up all the tall space i just need a stool if i want to reach up there but i can still reach up here so that's good enough and before i forget i also wanted to show you what i added here there is a switch so that once i flick it it lights the room up with some of these led lights that i put around the edge of the door frame so that just brightens it up a little bit when it gets darker and yeah that's it for the closet <music> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you made it all the way here, you are a true fan. Thank you so much for checking this out. Even though it does not have anything to do with perler beads, I'm glad that you watched it. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for updates on my new posts. I'll have more perler bead videos up later, hopefully. But um, for now, I'll see you guys next time with another cutie craft. Bye!